Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and I have got this package from Daphne's Diary and I had no idea what it was when I first got the box because it was this different shape to usual so and very heavy and I'm very excited to see what they have sent this time. This is my first package from them for the year and for those who don't know Daphne's Diary is a magazine and that is my favourite magazine for journaling and I have been receiving these magazines for, from them for I think the last couple years now, maybe longer. And every now and then they send some extra goodies with the magazine. So let's have a look at what they've sent. This is amazing. Um, I'll link them down below in the description box and here we go here is that's really pretty the first magazine for the year in 2024 the, they have eight per year and I love this blue really pretty and the florals and I'm very excited to <laughs> make a journal out of this front cover and to make a journal out of this back cover. It's kind of like a sage green. And is that maybe a cornflower blue for those doing the Everything Journal course, which includes the Intentional Life course. I um, have filmed a video about my color for the year and I talk about cornflower blue being significant. So this might have to be a new personal journal for me. I have this idea where every year I make myself at least one uh, Daphne's Diary journal and fill up one. So that will be my next series for February um, to make a journal from start to finish over on my Patreon. Uh, so for those who don't know, every month I make a different journal from start to finish um, over on my Patreon. And last year I did a Daphne's Diary journal in January and this year I'll do it in February. So that's very cool. Uh, we have the card, which I love, and I send these out as like little extra bonus freebies in my orders or to my patrons. So one of you guys watching will probably get this. <laughs> and before I get into the magazine, let's have a look at this. I'm going to keep a bit of this thread to stick into my journal to remember this by which is really cool. And they are books, notebooks. We've got a bullet journal, a travel journal, and a diary. So that is amazing. Look at that. Um, and they come with like a dust jacket, which I, I never like dust jackets. I know it looks really fancy and everything, but when I come to read a book, I tend to take the dust jacket off. Look at this. I love this. Imagine a whole journal with just this paper the whole way through. I would love that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like that. You can write your name and it's a bullet journal. So you can see the dots and I like how thick they are. I like me a thick journal. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. So yeah, Daphne's Diary have a shop and they sell other things besides the magazine. And we have a travel journal here. And let's see what this one is like. Oh, so this one is lines, which is really cool. And let's have a look at this one, the blue one that says diary. And it has the lines as well. And I love that you can, you know, stick things in here, stick photos and ephemera in these journals as well. I began as a journaler just using um, Daphne's Diary, things like this. And sorry, not Daphne's Diary, things like this. I'm trying to do two things at once. Uh, get this bit of glue off. Um, and my cat is making a noise in the background. <laughs> uh, I started off using lined journals like this, lined notebooks. But I would still stick things in and, you know, oh, and they have these bookmarks too, which is really cool. Ooh, and these are my colours for my football team, blue and yellow. <laughs> Zenia, if you're watching, go Eagles. 
hopefully we do much better this year <laughs> and they have them here as well let's see so these are lovely now obviously I don't need three journals so I reckon this will be another little freebie bonus extra sent out with some of my orders um, but I want to keep the blue one so and I like that blue bookmark it's really pretty so wow I love so these two will probably be sent out in the mail to some lucky people um, when I send extra freebies or whatever to some patrons or just along with an order but this one I'm keeping because I like the one that's just a plain diary um, I prefer lined pages than bullet journal pages um, and I find it easier to write on um, and I love that the diary one that I would I would keep anyway is the blue one so that is really cool and then I can add this to my journal collection and it feels really special because it is a diary from Daphne's diary that I love so much good quality thick pages it feels really really nice really beautiful textures and cream pages here thick pages this is going to be so great um so i am a journal collector <laughs> and this will go into my collection so oh i'm so excited anyway moving on to the magazine and yeah i think this color is just really pretty and i might have to make myself a journal out of it all right let's get into this now just a reminder, did I say this already? You can't sell anything with Daphne's diary in it because of copyright and um, Daphne's diary have it on their website that you can't use it in anything you sell. And I love this teacup picture. It's so cool. I was gonna say cute, cool. <laughs> and um, they make wonderful personal journals though. I recently shared a flip through of my Daphne's Diary list journal um, and oh cute it's like a black cat <laughs> so cute and oh, look at these they're really pretty very pretty um, they make wonderful personal journals and they make wonderful gifts so I know Daphne's Diary is not everyone's style but um, I love this kind of vintage, colourful, floral <laughs> type of um, style. Not every page, though, um, is my style. Uh, for example, I don't like anything to do with the food or recipe cooking pages. I love when they highlight other artists, though, and you get to see some really creative work. Really, really cool. Claude Monet, my favourite artist. Look at that, that's just so pretty. I used to try, <laughs> when I was in year 12 and did art, my whole year I was tr trying out sort of the Monet style using mostly watercolour, but I did a bit of acrylic and tried some other mediums, but my final project for the year was watercolour um, inspired, by, inspired by Monet. And those papers are actually, some of them I turned into printables for my Etsy shop. And we did a journal making series, making a journal from start to finish out of those um, papers that I created back when I was in year 12. So I love how anything can be used in a junk journal. And I, I you know, I kept all of those papers that I'd created in year 12. And I was like, I really love them. I don't want to chuck them out, but what am I ever going to do with them? They're, they're just sitting in my folio. Um, and then when I discovered junk journals, I was like, I can scan all my artwork and all my paintings and use them as pages in journals. So it was really, really cool. And I even turned some of the originals of my art into covers of journals and actually that was my very first collection uh, it was called an art journal collection um, and that kicked off my whole shop really um, because when I first started YouTube I was sharing the journals that I made um, and when I made that art collection with my original art on the covers that was the first time that 
everyone like just sold out that collection and I was amazed because you know I didn't think they were anything brilliant those art journals they were special to me of course because they had um, the original paintings for the covers oh yeah I can rip this out and show you the poster which I love that you can rip it out now it used to be stuck on with um, that sticky glue stuff which I'm not a fan of at all because it leaves a mark and I don't like the texture either <laughs> so we've got more teacups and it says hello winter which obviously is not <laughs> not for us in Australia and half the world and that doesn't bother me at all because I just like the I'm not like a seasons girl anyway I don't match my journaling to the seasons um, so that's why this doesn't bother me at all I just like how it looks I like the design I like the aesthetic of it so the fact that the seasons don't line up I mean it would, would be preferable if they did but it doesn't bother me because yeah I'm not really a seasons journaler or I don't really pay attention to the seasons maybe because in Australia <laughs> you know it's either hot <laughs> or cold <laughs> basically we don't really have the, the just, oh well we do I guess but in Bowen we don't there's no autumn in Bowen. That is very, very cool. Love that. Love, love, love that. And there's not really a winter in Bowen either. Um, it's pretty much just hot all the time. <laughs> uh, and, but up here they have a, a rainy season and a dry season. But it's more like one year is entirely dry and another year is wet. So, yeah. <clears throat> So anyway, I love, love, love this package. I love this color. I'm really drawn to that cover. And I'm really drawn to the blue and this diary, this magazine. So excited. So I'm going to get started filming the series, making my Daphne's Diary journal from start to finish for February. I do like to try to be a month ahead. So that's all ready to go. Um, so very, very excited for that. And I will be making two at a time. I always make one with the front cover and one with the back cover as well. And then as I put it together, I'll see if I end up keeping the, um, one of them. Uh, Cause it all depends on what pages go inside it as well. So we will, we will see. <laughs> I'll have a fun project ahead. Anyway, go check out Daffy's Diary. The link to their website will be down below in the description box. And let me know if you also get the magazine or if you've gotten other products from their shop. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. A special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in December. If you would like to support me in the month of January, I would be so ever grateful. Uh, becoming a patron gets you access to extra videos, including my monthly journal series where I make a journal from start to finish each month. Um, the Ruby tier gets you access to every single digital kit from my Etsy, as well as a new kit each month. And there's different tiers. There's some mail tiers and a journal tier as well. So feel free to check those out. If you'd like to take any of my courses, those are down below in the description box as well. And all the links and places to find me are down there too.